Ever notice what's scattered along Indiana's interstates? Yeah, a lot of familiar stuff here. Why, this is a state fair pop can. Must have been a collector's item. That's probably why it's out here. Another brand right here. Why, ah, here's an article from one of those so-called men's magazines. Have to look at that later. Trash, tons of it, but the law calls it something else. The law calls it litter. The law states that you cannot leave refuge on someone else's property unless it's placed in a proper container. Break the law and you won't serve any jail time, but it could cost you up to $1,000. Ah, oh, here's some snack food. Wow, there's still one in there. Wonder how old it is. Police acknowledge littering is a problem. Because it costs taxpayers money for people that they hire to go out and pick that trash up. Yet last year, state police records show only 43 cases statewide were handled. This year, even fewer litterers have been brought to justice. So far, only 19 statewide. Holy cow, look at this. Some real genuine barbed wire fence. Too bad I don't have some cattle. Whoa, have to wait for the truck on that, baby. The problem, say police, is that prosecuting litterers is no simple matter. We have to draw a case number, what we call a case number, make an uh, in-depth uh, case report. We have to mug the person and fingerprint them. We have to take them to jail and process them and all that. A lot of work and not, say police, cost-effective. No littering crackdowns are planned soon. Say police, the problem of litter and its ultimate solution is in our own hands. Oh, a snack. Never heard of that. Lover's choice. David Barris, Wish TV, News 8.